Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. Raboda ni Winkis Maktona. Tuk ni na kong hun na muri ra ra bes. Wana kun bes. King ba muri ra. Tuk king ba nong kong nek. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Topa da bunk walia gando nago chuchut. Kaba chi kuita odonga. Yala mo inka pun. Jilo ba mulira ni bobo. Wango kun beska kang ba mama rulira. Kuya mi jus kuna chitanai. Yina kun mama rulira ra chikun. Slimo padona. Rundi odonga chihonkabi. Jawana bota ayua tahonga cha kanki dora. Kachi kuita odonga. Topa da bunk walia gando do nado chut chut. Muxa pa pang pa, bola wana chit ne. Ba muli slemo po da wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Uba batu konchi. Tong nong bong chong nyung yang. Tong patok smak delia. On it. It's open. Sure. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. You again? Why do you keep bothering me? I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice in that? Holden's the one to blame, not me. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve this. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa ni tapu e tiki tu dolpa da bongwale o gandona chu chu kachi chu ita dun donga you malita kuto dun. Runda di ho tonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita ho tonga. Ye king kun o ba mule ra chi tong abog sha um ninong. Wanga kun bez king palemuraya. 
아, 추다. 뭔가 군비 돌비 기구였나. 똥 바투가 스박 딜리아. What? On it. It's open. Sure. What? On it. It's open. Sure. What? On it. It's open. Yes. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. I it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. Am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taras can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. True, but people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Where? 
where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gurlon Two Fingers. Vibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the end of <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Jedi Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The Mysterious Stranger! Yeah. 
It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! But really, are any of us surprised? Deadeye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. has got to be a tough loss for the mysterious stranger. Imagine losing to a cripple. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy. Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. 
Come on, we don't want to keep Davik waiting. What? On it. It's open. Yes? Please. Please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Here, take... I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them than that. What... what do you want now? You're not going to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? I knew you were here to kill me. Well, I won't go down without a fight! Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. No? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going.
Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. What? On it. It's open. Yes? This planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey, this Slummy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big, Slummy. Maybe you should show us a, a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, Schlummy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. <laughs> Run. Hachu upon Tango could we team Haku run Run the e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku. Can chopa chawi ti chop twees yun kun. What we kakin cha na guat na bon con. Kipun. What a wama muliri. Kin kun chope shwa. Chinapala mula. Run. Move along. We're gonna need some kind of disguise. 